Today we've got a problem from the Oxford University Maths Admissions Test. The polynomial n squared times x to the 2n plus 3 minus 25n to the x times x to the n plus 1 plus 150x to the 7 has x squared minus 1 as a factor for what values of n? We're obviously going to be using the factor theorem here. x squared minus 1 is, remember, is just the same as x minus 1 times x plus 1. So we need both of these guys to be factors of this expression. So not only do I need x equals 1 to be a solution to this, but also x equals minus 1. Let's start with 1. So when I substitute x as 1 into this, I should get 0. So n squared minus 25n plus 150 equals 0. This is nice and easy. That's an n minus 15 times n minus 10 is 0. So that tells me that n has to be 10 or 15. Great. Let's now use the minus 1. So this tells me that n squared. Now I've got minus 1 to the 2n plus 3. But since n is an integer, 2n plus 3, that's always going to be odd. So n squared times minus 1 minus 25n times minus 1 to the n plus 1 plus 150 to times minus 1 to the 7. That's just going to be minus 150 equals 0. OK, cool. And now what you notice is if n is odd, this term here is negative. This term here will also be negative because n is odd means minus 1 to the even power. That term's positive, but with the minus at the front, it makes it negative. And I've also got a negative 150 there. So n cannot be odd. It won't equal 0. So that rules out 15 and options C and D. So I just need to check if 10 works in this equation. And it does. We can just check minus 100, uh, minus 250, uh, sorry, plus 250, because it would be an odd power, then minus 150. And that does indeed equal 0. So n equals 10, or if n equals 10, this polynomial will have x equals uh, x squared minus 1 as a factor. So the answer, therefore, is b.